Hi, everyone, and Happy New Year. This is Sue Parks, the CEO of Orange County United Way, and I'm here with our weekly update. But today I'm going to do a recap of good things that happened in 2020. But before I do that, I want to share that I ended my 2020 on my hands and knees cleaning up after a 12-week-old puppy that had made a mess that got tracked throughout my entire home. And somehow it seemed an apropos ending to the year. But regardless of that, and I digress, I wanted to share 10 great things that happened from Orange County United Way's perspective in 2020. This isn't an inclusive list. I couldn't cover all of the wonderful things, um, and it's certainly not in any particular order. But number one, our president circle. We bring together our major donors into private insider conversations so they can hear from Orange County leaders. We started the year in person way back when, um, thanks to the generosity of Max and Art and Gardner, and we heard from uh, Fire Chief Brian Fennessy who shared what it takes to keep a county like ours safe from fires. And boy, he and his firefighting team, his heroic team, really showed us how amazing they are later in the year. So thank you, Brian, for stopping by and sharing some thoughts with our group. And thank you to the two virtual um, sessions that we had to our speaker, Dr. Clayton Chow. There's so much going on in healthcare, and Dr. Clayton Chow leads the healthcare agency for Orange County. So thank you for sharing um, your thoughts about the pandemic and how we keep ourselves safe. And we are also just delighted to have such a compassionate, caring person in charge of this really important effort here in Orange County. So that's all number one, our president's circle. And number two, February, I met Jeff Volby, who is the president of the USONIC Americas at Los Amigos High School in Fountain Valley because USONIC had donated the most amazing interactive learning equipment to that school. And I got to see a class using this using the technology and just wow, saw how interactive and how much more engaged they were because of the dynamicness of this new tool. So thank you, Jeff. I know you helped the school and you helped many, many others. So we're so proud to work with USONIC. Um, in March, our world changed. So this is number three, but there were good things happening prior to the pandemic. And that was with our OC free tax prep and the hundreds of volunteers that volunteer to help people, low income families in Orange County, get um, their earned income tax credit and their tax refunds back. Our last in-person event was the week before the pandemic uh, shutdown happened, and it was at University High in Irvine. Again, this program brings back over $20 million into the community uh, and to the people who need it most. So thank you, volunteers, and we are at it. We're a combination of hybrid events going on right as we speak. Um, and speaking of generosity, we are blown away by the, re the um, response to our pandemic relief fund. And I'm going to start with a big shout out to Regina and Stephen Oswald, who heard about the pandemic relief fund and early on called to say how they could help. Their generosity um, lifted us all and inspired us. And now we see so many companies, family foundations, individuals who have come together to support Orange County's families and organization through our pandemic relief fund. One other highlight I want to say is the Lion Smith Family Foundation. They called and said, we have $500,000. We'd like to match it. We'd like to help more families. So we put together the OC Family to Family Challenge and did raise that other $500,000. And with that total of a million, we really helped 2,000 more households with Orange County in Orange County with $500 emergency debit cards. That's really astounding. And we've helped many more since then. But thank you, Lions Family Foundation. I also want to go to number five, our events team. Whoa, they did an amazing job going um, virtual. We had our scorecard event, which was the first event of the year, and it broke it into three different um, sessions, and it went really well. So thank you, events team, and thank you, Five Point and Edwards Life Sciences for being our sponsors, many others who joined in as well. And I want to thank our sponsors, uh, Bank of America and others, for making the WPF breakfast on May 20th so successful. It really was highlighted as one of the best virtual events in the country at the time because we had had so little um, uh, teams that had really transferred to do things virtual, and our team stepped up and did it. And many thanks because of the encouragements of Ann and Don Yan, our wonderful co-chairs. So thank you, Ann and Don, and all of our sponsors. Our local Global Me, which is sponsored by Bank of America, also went virtual, and we had an amazing um, discussions with that group for our Women United. But one particular one, positive psychology and resilience, really, really helped our Women United members. So 
Thank you all for, for participating in Women United and for all of our sponsors. And then one more, Rally for Change, which we recognize our corporate sponsors. Again, hit it out of the park. And thank you, team members that made that happen. And our donors, our volunteers, and our corporate cabinet. It really is because of all of your support. So thank you for that. Number six, we're going to talk about United Town Homelessness. Um, our team, with all of the donations and support, housed 170 people, ended homelessness for 170 people in 2020 alone. And that's through working with private apartment owners. So thank you, apartment owners, again, donors. And we're in the midst of housing 300 more. And also for homelessness, this is number seven. Um, during Hunger and Homeless Awareness Week in November, we held our first ever drive-in virtual movie. And in that, 80 cars came, but that 240 people within those cars to hear about the unsung heroes, to hear about the frontline workers that work with our homeless population, get the recognition they so deserve. So thank you, team and everybody, City of Irvine and City of Mission Viejo, Mission Viejo for helping us put together an amazing evening. Um, and number eight, we started recruiting for our leadership councils for the two key initiatives, United for Financial Security, which is chaired by Alan Staff, and United for Student Success, which is chaired by Antonella Castro. And they're gonna join our other, our third key initiative, which is United 10 Homelessness, which is chaired by Larry Armstrong. And we're so excited for these leadership councils to come together and really help guide and expand and accelerate the work that we're all doing here in Orange County. And number nine, in December, we celebrate our first Cultures United conversation. And that featured our co-chairs, Martha Daniel, Tam Wynn, and Ben Alvarado. So thank you, California Bank and Trust, for everything you did to sponsor this very important series where there are candid discussions about social justice, about racism, and about how we are all better working together. The next one's coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, number 10, let me close by thanking our amazing team of staff, donors, volunteers, and community partners. Our staff worked tirelessly on the work that we did and and did a beautiful job of pivoting in their own lives and working virtually for the most part to keep everything going at Orange County United Way and to help so many more. Our volunteers have been amazing. 300 um, volunteers right now are mentoring 300 high school students from low-income families to help them get be part of the class of 21, to help them graduate and get ready for this next chapter of their lives. So thank you volunteers for everything that you do. Um, community partners, um, as I mentioned before, the pandemic relief fund, we relied on so many, but um, I think we had 49 um, service providers that came together that helped us identify over 6,000 families, households in Orange County that needed the $500 emergency support. So thank you. And to all of our donors who made it possible, thank you. You really, really rocked our world. Um, I could go on, but you understand the point. Despite however you might fill in the blank of you thought of 2020, there were some remarkable things. And more than ever, it's about everybody coming together. So I'm going to give you my Dina Carr quote of the day. And it's from none other than Ralph Waldo Emerson. And I think it's perfect. Write in your heart, write it on your heart that every day is the best day of the year. So today is my best day because I get to acknowledge all of you and everything that you do to help so many. Thank you, and please make it your best day too.